I often see how good employees who generally do a good job for their employer get in trouble or even get fired because of the rude emails that they send to their managers. There is absolutely no benefit whatsoever in sending a rude or harsh email to your boss. If your relationship with your boss is good, that kind of email is going to make it worse. And if your relationship is already kind of rocky, it's going to make things even worse or it's going to get you fired as it often happens. I would like to share two examples of real emails that I have recently seen that created trouble for the employee who wrote them. A trouble that, the trouble that could and should have been avoided if that employee simply chose not to send that type of email. Here's the first example. A manager, or rather the owner of the company, shares his plan of action with his assistant. The assistant replies by email that he disagrees with that plan and then he ends his email with this language. It's your company, do whatever you want. Now you might think it's not that rude and you're probably right. However, think about the recipient of this email. This is a guy who pays his assistant for every hour of his work. When he read this email, he surely thought, who the hell does this guy think he is? I am paying him and he talks to me like that? Shouldn't he be a little bit nicer to me? It's only human and it's only natural for the boss, for the owner of the company to feel that way. And it's certainly going to create problems in their relationship. Here's a second example. An employee believes that his boss promised him a promotion and raise several months ago. Then, at a certain point, he sends him an email and asks about the status of his promotion and his raise. And his boss tells him that there is a misunderstanding, that he never promised him a raise. And then the employee responds with this email, why are you lying? Question mark. Now, how do you think the manager is going to feel when his subordinate asks him, why are you lying? Regardless of whether the employee is right or not, and regardless of whether the, the manager is actually lying. Who likes to be called a liar? Now the problem is that a lot of employees mistakenly think that they're equal to their managers, then they can speak with each other exactly the same way. But that's simply not the case. The manager is above you, that's just the nature of a workplace. The manager is above you the way he can speak with you is not the same way that you can speak with the manager. If a manager is a little harsh to you, you might be able to complain about him and many times you'll have to suck it up. But as an at-will employee, if you say something mean or rude to your boss, he can easily fire you and most managers have no problem doing it. So before you send an email, that's even remotely rude or harsh or forceful. Think about the consequences of that email and ask yourself what benefit this email is going to gain you. For example, in this latter situation, what benefit could an employee get from calling his boss a liar? It's not like the boss is going to say, you know what, you're right. I'm a liar. You're telling the truth. I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to give you a raise. It's not going to happen, obviously. So, in this situation, if the employee is a little bit frustrated and unhappy about hearing that he's not getting a raise, he simply should ask his boss to talk about it again and maybe to clarify things, to give his boss the benefit of the doubt instead of calling him a liar. In the first example, where the employee said, it's your company, do whatever you want, he simply should have said, you know, I disagree, I, sh I think we should do this and not that, and it might just be better for everyone, and just not say, it's your company, do whatever you want. It's harsh, it's unnecessary, and the owner of the company probably knows that anyway, so there is absolutely no point in saying this to them. So. Try to avoid sending rude and harsh emails to your managers, however tempting it might be, because there is absolutely no benefit in those types of emails in the vast majority of situations. Thank you.